So, you know, that little thing that Bush W. does when he gets with Michelle, they giggle and he gives a candy. Yeah. The inside thing, is that supposed to be the same kind of candy he used to give to her husband when he was six, seven, eight years old? That's crazy. Peace, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy, Let's Talk. All right, so in this video, we're going to be reacting to Judge Joe Brown. Now, I know a lot of y'all know Judge Joe Brown from the hit TV show when he was judging people's cases on tv but now over the last several years he been doing his thing exposing a lot of secrets in the industry and politics so forth and so have you and in this video he got some secret information with former president barack obama and also former president george bush so we're going to take a look at this and see what he's talking about. Let's check it out. And the last one, number 44, and the one before that, 43, Bush and Obama. Well, there are pictures of Bush with his arm around uh, eight-year-old Barack Obama because his stepdaddy, adopted daddy, Lolo Sotoro, had done a lifetime worth of business with the Bushes. Uh, wow. Uncle George Herbert Walker, after whom George Herbert Walker Bush, Bush one president, was named, founded Halliburton in 1946 in Oklahoma. And Lolo Sotoro had been international executive vice president for Standard Oil. There, there was talk of him being a CIA asset. Uh, well, yeah, Indonesia. see, he ran mm -hmm. the death squads for the Indonesian Army. On mm -hmm. his own call, anyone could be assassinated. So when George Herbert Walker Bush became head of the CIA under the Ford administration. He just got with his old buddy in the oil business, Lolo Sotoro, and pulled off the hits. See, uh, Barack's grandmother has been acknowledged as being the woman that operated the channels through which CIA money went to the Southwest Pacific. So she introduced one thing I her daughter Judge who had Brown. just had like, Barry. He said all this stuff with clarity. To Lolo Sotoro and they got married and Lolo Sotoro adopted Barack Obama. The name was changed to Barry Sotoro. Mm -hmm. Now when he went to high school in Hawaii, I know about that high school. I almost sent my oldest son to it. I could afford it, but I didn't think he observed, deserved it. 20 years ago, the tuition was $95,000 a year, not including room and board. When Obama went there, I've talked to two of his classmates. They independently state that the tuition, not including room and board, was $45,000. Now, Business Insider reports his income for 2017 at over $200 million net. That's after taxes, deductions, write-offs. Mm -hmm. For this last year, 2018, they reported it as... 570 plus million dollars and that's after all deductions tax right trump doesn't make that net right i mean even some of the richest people in america don't make that why because when his stepdaddy died he was one of the 10 15 richest men on earth and he left everything in a trust fund operated out of indonesia oh. so the american government can't touch it so Barack Obama is a billionaire? One third beneficiary for the assets of one of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. See, wow. so we got a game run on us. So, you know, that little thing that Bush W. does when he gets with Michelle, they giggle and he gives a candy. Yeah. The inside thing, is that supposed to be the same kind of candy he used to give to her husband when he was six, seven, eight years old? Wow. Whoa. That's crazy. Now, of course, all this is allegedly, you know, you got to take this with a grain of salt. We don't want to just say things, spew a narrative out there because y'all know how these platforms be and everything. So we're not just going to say that, but. 
look, Judge Joe Brown, he say what you want about him, but one thing he isn't is a liar. And that man know his stuff. I'm not saying all this stuff is true, <laughs> but look, it sounds convincing. It sounds like something that you can maybe look into and see the facts. So I'm going to do my research on this and see what's really going on. But to be fair, this is not the first time I've heard similar stories like this. It's the first time I've heard Judge Joe Brown talking about it and with such details into the backstories and the connections and everything. Like, I've never heard that before. But, wow. <sighs> but we got to be careful because a lot of these platforms, like I said, the censorship is real. But, look, it's all out here is on YouTube and the name of the person who uploaded the video is Garbaggio2020 he has a subscriber count of 1.35k subscribers so y'all go over there and subscribe to his channel uh, and show that man some love because the video the views is a hundred and over 150,000 views so with that viewership he should have a whole lot more subscribers than that. So y'all go show that man some love. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Y'all let me know if y'all think it's fake. If it's false, fact, what. If y'all got any more information, drop in the comment section below. And I'll, I'll do my due diligence. But let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.